all so very much. I am honored and grateful to be here in the beautiful state of New York in the Roosevelt Garden. How wonderful to be with you all, my friends, in this place commemorating a great and trailblazing American, one that believes in equality in every meaning of that word. I'm inspired by this fearless leader who looked to the future and broke the restricting mold of ages past, embarking on a call to make America not just uh, great for Americans, but one that the world can be proud of. One that promotes security for all those who need it within its boundaries. The termination of special privilege for the few, and a better and rising standard of living for every member of this great nation. I'm honored to be with you, friends. In a nation that empowers its women, we are so close to breaking the to breaking the final sheet of glass for every woman that we can almost reach through the cracks that our resilient predecessors have challenged and pushed for generations. We have one last boundary to cross, friends, before we reach the finish line. And every women, woman across the United States will rejoice in our success and the final shattering of our restricting societal norms that have oppressed us for ages. We will make a wave through history that will rock and empower our nation, silencing the misogynistic fear that has tried and failed to keep us down. Join me, friends, in this chance. What a great day for America to continue a lasting change that has courageously transformed and enlivened this country with our trailblazing President Barack Obama. As his Secretary of State, I represented America through troubling waters. Terrorism, racism, and economic uncertainty plague our great nation, friends. Our American values are under attack. I want to protect these rights that define our great nation. And this starts with you, <coughs> friends. We are members of this great nation, and regardless of what the GOP says, our nation is great because its members are great. Each and every one, and I as your Secretary of State and former First Lady firmly believe this and have put this into every one of my policies. But friends, again, we Americans are in grave risk of losing hold of ground that supports our belief that real and lasting prosperity must be built and shared by all. Our current and well-respected president embodied this in his health care reform. Healthcare not just for the privileged few, but for every member of the great ta tapestry that is the United States. This tapestry has been colored and shaped by generations of fearless patriots, like my parents. And they carved out their dreams of this great nation. It is one that has, un that has left unwritten the destiny for its members and allowed me, a woman, to run for the United States presidency. Let's make history. Thank <laughs> you.